Hi everybody! Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our social issue unit in today's program,、uh-huh. and、uh, it's an issue right here in good old Taiwan. Of course,、uh, we are broadcasting from up here in good old Taipei, but、uh, this is something that happened way down in Taichung. It takes a long time to get down there, and as you know, Hualien, Taichung, and other parts of、uh, Taiwan. Are populated by indigenous people. In this particular case, down in Taichung, we've got a Bunon man of the Bunong tribe by the name of Taman Talum. I hope I said that right. And、uh, he got in trouble for hunting. I guess in、uh, some law there somewhere, you're not supposed to hunt. Uh, certain kinds of animals, and he was arrested on charges of poaching, and because he had some illegal weapons, illegal weapons possession, so he、Uh-oh. got in trouble for that. But on the other hand, there are these laws that say, hey, they got a right to preserve their culture and stuff like that. So, which law applies? Yeah, which law is going to win out? You could say, which one is going to win? We're going to talk about this、uh, over the next couple of lessons because there are a lot of issues in here, and you're going to learn a lot of great words as well. Right now, we're going to read through day one, and then we'll be back. In July 2013, Dama Dalum, a Bunon man in Taidong County, went hunting in the mountains to get some fresh meat for his 92-year-old mother. Dalum successfully bagged a deer and a goat, but after the hunt, he was arrested on charges of poaching and illegal weapons possession. A year later, Dalum was found guilty of both charges and sentenced to three and a half years in prison. His lawyers appealed the Taidong District Court's decision twice, but the Supreme Court ruled against the appeals. Dalum was slated to report to prison on December fifteenth, twenty fifteen. Nevertheless, believing he didn't do anything illegal, Dalum chose to wait at home with his mother for the authorities to collect him. At this juncture, Supreme Prosecutor's Office Prosecutor General Yen Daho filed an extraordinary appeal to the Supreme Court, arguing that discrimination against indigenous culture. Was suspected in the original judgment. Dalum's sentence was suspended pending the appeal. Then, earlier this year, indigenous groups and Dalum's team of lawyers filed a request for a constitutional interpretation. They asserted that there is a conflict between the indigenous people's basic law and the Wildlife Conservation Act, the law under which Dalum was sentenced to jail. While the basic law states that indigenous people may hunt wild animals as long as it is for traditional culture, ritual, or self-consumption, the Conservation Act confines their hunting to traditional culture and ritual only, excluding the right of self-consumption. However, in terms of the hierarchy of laws in Taiwan, the basic law has precedence over the Conservation Act. Therefore. The lawyers maintained that the ruling involved an unreasonable application of the law. Okay, folks, we're going to be talking about this case、uh, involving indigenous hunting rights in Taiwan, and a fellow by the name of Dama Dalum.、Uh, he's from Taichung County. And he went hunting in the mountains to get some fresh meat for his 92-year-old mother. When you talk about indigenous tribes, indigenous people, you're talking about people who、uh, have been in a particular place probably longer than any other group of people.、Uh, so, if you're indigenous to a certain place,、uh, you originate in that area. You can also talk about plants and animals being indigenous to a particular. Part of the world, wherever that might be. So it happened back in July of 2013. Dama Dalum, he is、uh, someone who was arrested and then、uh, sentenced to jail for going out into the mountains to hunt、uh, for some fresh meat for his mother. He successfully, it says, bagged. A deer and a goat. We use that word "bagged" as sort of、uh, it's more 
I think it's not slang, but it's more casual、uh, English. If you bag something, you're able to catch it.、Uh, oh, I, I guess you could bag a hot date. You know, if you ask this really hot girl out and she says yes, you bagged a, a hot date. But if you bag a deer, bagged, I bagged a good job, I bagged a, a gig. You get it, you accomplish it. It's yours. So he's able to successfully hunt down a, a deer and a goat. And take them back to his mom. Indeed, and of course, if you hunt animals, you need some kind of、uh, weapons to do it, or、uh, some kind of implements, I guess.、Uh-huh. And after the hunt, he took the deer back and the goat. Here you go, grandmother, or actually, this is his mother here. Got something for you to eat. But the police were there. He was arrested on charges of poaching、mm. and illegal weapons possession. Poaching—that、uh, just means you kill animals that are protected, that you're not supposed to kill. And、uh, like you know, a lot of animals in Africa, for example, are protected, and a lot of people poach、uh, elephants, for example, for their tusks, so they can make ivory and stuff like that. So he got in trouble for that. I guess it's illegal to kill these animals; they're probably endangered or something like that. So he got charged with poaching and also possession of illegal weapons. Possession here is usually a legal term; it just means you have this in your possession,、uh, like drugs possession. You might go to jail for possession of heroin, for example. Yeah, something that you shouldn't have that's against the law to possess. So a year later,、uh, which would be July 2014, he was found guilty of both charges. Remember, there was one charge of、uh, poaching and another charge of illegal weapons possession. They don't say what his weapons were.、Um, I don't know if he would have used a rifle. If he would have had a gun, or maybe it was just a bow and arrow, we don't know. I've never seen hunting rifles here in Taiwan.、Mm. Uh, I ne- I used to in the past never thought I would kill animals, but now I'm actually interested in taking up hunting, especially because there are too many deer in the United States. I'd like to get a hunting license. Yeah, but you have to have a license at least in the states. Yeah,、um, have to train and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you have to know what have you're to take doing. A course.、Uh, yeah. So he was、uh, found guilty and then sentenced to three and a half years. In prison, if you're sentenced to a particular punishment, it means the judge decides this is the length of your punishment. He has to stay in prison for three and a half years. It seems kind of harsh. It does to me. And his lawyers appealed the Taichung District Court's decision twice. But the Supreme Court ruled against the appeals. So, of course,、uh, if you're found guilty in a court, you have the right to appeal to a higher court. Here we've got the verb to appeal. Usually, appeal means to actually request something from somebody. But in this case, as a legal term, it just means you go to a different court、mm-hmm. to try to get a different decision. Right. Because maybe there was some reason for that. They don't always give appeals. It's not necessarily that easy. But in any case, they tried to go to a higher court, and it eventually got to the Supreme. Supreme Court, the top court of the land, and they said, "Nope, your appeals are ineffective. The lower court ruling stands." Yeah, after you've、uh, taken your case to the Supreme Court. Once they rule, it's over, baby. They're the highest court you can go to. There's no place after that you can so, go to. So let's see what he's going to do here. It says here that Dalum was slated to report to prison on December fifteenth, twenty fifteen. If you're slated to do something, that simply means scheduled.、Uh, we use it in a way、uh, to talk about something that's.、Uh, You know, it's an appointment. I'm slated to meet with the judge. I'm slated to、uh, go to America in a couple months. So he was scheduled to report to prison、uh, on December fifteenth, twenty fifteen. Nevertheless, he kept believing within himself that he wasn't doing anything illegal. So he chose to wait at home with his mother for the authorities to collect him. Any time you talk about the authorities. They're usually people who work、uh, for the police or the government, and they have、uh, positions of power over you that you have to obey them. That's right. He must have known the law or something, so he believed he didn't do anything illegal. So he's just thought, "I'm going to stay home. If you guys want to put me in jail, you're going to have to put me in yourself. You're going to have to come and get me."、Right. So he waited for those authorities, the police or whoever. And at this juncture, or at this. Part of the story,、uh, Supreme Prosecutor's Office Prosecutor General Yen Da Ho filed an extraordinary appeal to the Supreme Court 
arguing that discrimination against indigenous culture was suspected in the original judgment. Ooh, this is a pretty long sentence here, so let's deal with it before we take a break. Again, we've got this happening at this juncture, at this point in the story, or next. The thing that happened next is we've got the prosecutor general from the Supreme Prosecutor's Office. Okay, that's a part of the government, and then this is the person's title: prosecutor general. The prosecutor is the person who tries to get people、uh, to pay for their crimes, to get punished, to get found guilty. Yeah, but it's interesting because at this point, he's actually on the side of Thama Dalung. Look、mm-hmm. at that. Usually, prosecutors are the ones who want to prove that you're guilty, but here it says the Supreme、uh, Prosecutor's Office, Prosecutor General Yen Daha, he filed an extraordinary appeal to the Supreme Court,、mm-hmm. and he said that there was actually discrimination used against、uh, Talum's culture, which is interesting, huh? Yeah, and、uh, to file here just means you submit a legal document or something to the authorities in order for them to act on it. So his was an an appeal. We've talked about the appeal, trying to get it tried again. This was an extraordinary appeal, just very, very unusual. It doesn't、yeah. happen every day.、Uh, he sent this appeal to the Supreme Court, and he said, "Hey, there may have been some discrimination against indigenous culture that was suspected in the original." Judgment discrimination means that you basically treat someone badly because of race or gender or、uh, level of income or whatever discrimination. It's just unfair in some way. Yeah,、right? they thought yeah. that they just were doing that because he was、uh, indigenous and not respecting their own、uh, special kind of laws and stuff.、Uh, this was suspected,、uh, which means they kind of thought that this was going on in the original judgment. Therefore, it should be appealed or be given a. Special kind of appeal. Yeah. So what happened was Talum's sentence was suspended pending the appeal. If something's suspended, it's temporarily stopped.、Uh, maybe something、uh, is ongoing, but you need to stop it for a while. You can suspend. It maybe they're working on the road,、uh, but they suspended their work for the weekend so that people didn't have to listen to the noise. So they stopped working for a while. Just because it's suspended, just means it's temporarily stopped. It will continue in the future, but、uh, for the time being, it was suspended pending the appeal. Pending means.、Uh, Waiting for based on something, so they're awaiting the decision from the Supreme Court,、uh, and once that happens,、uh, we'll either find out he doesn't have to go to jail anymore, or he has to go to jail. His suspension will be lifted, and he'll have to go back to jail the way he needed to in the first place. Right now, guys, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 我们今天要谈论的是原住民狩猎权的这个问题。首先来看到，在第一段的第二个句子提到 ，Dalum successfully bagged a deer and a goat, but after the hunt, he was arrested on charges of poaching and illegal weapons possession. 其实呢，他为了孝敬自己九十二岁高龄的母亲，去山里面打猎，顺利的捕获了一头鹿跟一只羊。在这里，我们用的动词 bag 其实就有捕猎。捕获的意思，但是却因为打猎之后呢，被控盗猎 （poaching） 以及非法持有武器而被逮捕。在这里的 charge 当做名词是有控告的意思。举个例子来说 ，He was arrested on the charge of robbery， 也就是说他因为抢劫而被逮捕。在这里，他却因为 poaching 盗猎以及 illegal weapons possession。非法的持有武器而被逮捕，那这样子的指控呢，都被判有罪，判入狱三年半，中间有非常多次的上诉以及遭到驳回。我们来看到第二段后面的两个句子提到 ，At this juncture, Supreme Prosecutor's Office Prosecutor General Yan Da He. Filed an extraordinary appeal to the Supreme Court, arguing that discrimination against indigenous culture was suspected in the original judgment. 
。这个句子很长，我们先来认识 Supreme Court 指的呢，就是最高法院 Prosecutor's Office 指的就是检察署。At this juncture, juncture 在这里当做名词，有重要关头跟危机。就在这个时候，焦灼不下的时候呢，最高检察署的检察总长严大和向最高法院提起了 extraordinary appeal。Appeal 在这里当做名词呢，也就是有诉愿的意思。在这里，我们使用的动词 file to file and appeal to， 也就是有向什么来提出上诉。它所所辩称的就是 discrimination against indigenous culture， 所谓呢，对于原住民文化有歧视的这样子的一个想法是被怀疑的。Suspect 在这里当做动词，有怀疑的意思。举个例子来说 ，The tiger suspected danger and ran away. 老虎呢怀疑有危险，所以就逃跑了。而这个严大和检察总长则觉得，在原本的这个判决当中，怀疑是有歧视原住民文化的事情。第二段的最后一句则是写着。Dalun's sentence was suspended pending the appeal. 于是呢，他的这样子的呃执行的判决 sentence 就被终止了。Pending 在这里当做是介系词，指的是在什么什么期间。所以在这个上述的期间呢，他的判决就决定要暂缓执行。We're going to take a quick break. I guess you could say we're suspending our、uh, discussion of this article for just、you、a bit, that,、yeah. and then we'll be back. Okay, let's continue with our lesson again. We're talking about. Dama Dalum. He's a Bunong man from Taidong. He's got a 92-year-old mother. She's probably older than that now. Hopefully, she's still alive and well. And he went hunting to get some meat for her, a deer and a goat. But then he was arrested for poaching and possessing illegal weapons. He was supposed to go to jail, but somebody filed an appeal and said, "Hey, his、uh, his rights have been violated because、uh, there are special laws that protect indigenous culture." And there might be some discrimination against him, so his original judgment was suspended pending the appeal. Now, here in the third paragraph, it says, "Then earlier this year,、uh, this year, 2016, this year, earlier this year, indigenous groups and Dalum's team of lawyers filed a request for a constitutional interpretation." So these are indigenous groups. I don't think they're the actual tribes; just people representing the rights of. Indigenous people,、uh -huh. and then we've got a team of lawyers—not just one, but、uh, you know, several lawyers. They're all working together on this case. They decided to file. Or submit a request for a constitutional interpretation. This is a request、uh, as a noun. It's just、uh, asking someone to do something. I have a request. For example, I'd like to request a song. A request can be both a verb and a noun. Here, it's being used as a noun. They filed this request. Uh, so that the court could look at the Constitution. That's kind of like the supreme law of the land. We need you guys to actually look at the Constitution to figure out what to do with this case. Yeah. So they're going to、uh, explain how this works. In or within the Constitution, is it constitutional or not? They're going to have to、uh, make that judgment. Now they asserted this is the team of lawyers. They asserted or stated very confidently, forcefully, that there's a conflict between the Indigenous Peoples Basic Law and the Wildlife Conservation Act that was passed,、uh, you know, in legislation、uh, here in Taiwan. If there's a conflict, usually it involves a very serious disagreement or argument,、um, and a conflict can actually、uh, 
、uh, extend for a length of time. It can go on for a while. There's definitely a conflict, though.、Uh, these two sides、uh, of the law don't agree. The Indigenous Peoples Law and the law that is within the Constitution here in Taiwan, the Wildlife Conservation Act that was passed by the legislature,、um, and that's the law under which Dalum was sentenced to jail. So、uh, the court decided he had broken the Wildlife Conservation Act. He had、uh, done something illegal in that act, and so he should go to jail to be punished. Indeed, and of course, as you know, sometimes、uh, legislatures are just making laws, and they're so busy making these laws that sometimes they forget that the laws kind of overlap a little bit. One law says doing something is okay, and then another law says it's not,、yeah. and it's up to the courts to figure that stuff out. Sometimes, so yes, we've got a conflict between the basic law and the wild. Wildlife Conservation Act, okay, and that's the law that they used to send him to jail. Although he didn't go to jail yet because it was pending the appeal. Wildlife conservation just means protecting wildlife, especially since Taiwan has so many endangered animals. Now let's、uh, talk about this conflict here. It says while the basic law states that indigenous people may hunt wild animals as long as it is for traditional culture, ritual, or self-consumption. The Conservation Act confines their hunting to traditional culture and ritual only, excluding the right of self-consumption. So basically, the difference is that the Conservation Act says that you can't hunt animals for food, which is self-consumption. Yeah, right. If you confine something to something,、uh, it just means you keep it or restrict it,、uh, so that it has to follow within certain limits. So you have to confine your hunting to either traditional culture or ritual,、um, and it, it excludes. If you exclude something, you say it doesn't include something. To exclude means to leave something out, not let it take part or participate in something. So they are saying you can't hunt if you just want to eat it yourself. Consumption means consume, right? To have consumed something means to eat it. Self-consumption means to eat it yourself. So,、hmm, it sounds like these two laws are in conflict, indeed. So, it's going to be interesting to see how they rule on this. Indeed. So, which law should they use? If they use the Conservation Act, he's going to go to jail. If they use the Indigenous Peoples Basic Law, then he won't go to jail. It depends on the court and how they want to interpret the law. Yeah. According to the Constitution, they're having a constitutional interpretation here. However, in terms of the hierarchy of laws in Taiwan, the Basic Law has precedence over the Conservation Act. So we've got hierarchy here in terms. Of Of hierarchy, if we're going to talk about hierarchy, and that basically explains what is more important, which is more higher, which outranks something else. We talked about this word earlier this month, hierarchy, and yes, I guess it says that the basic law. Has priority. It has precedence. Precedence means that something happened before, and they used that law in the past. So therefore, we should use it again. That's precedence. Yeah, usually, if one law has been passed or is in existence before another, the second law is the one that they disregard or ignore. Therefore, it says in the last sentence, the law, the lawyers maintained that the ruling involved an unreasonable application. Of the law, I agree with these lawyers. Actually, now if you maintain something, you say this is true. You don't change your opinion. You say no.、Uh, this is this has been happening, and we agree with this. So they keep、uh, saying. That this is true. That they、um, their argument is valid. They don't change their argument. If you maintain something, you don't change it. You keep with it.、Uh, you can maintain your car, which means you take it to get the oil changed, and you make sure it's always in good running condition so that it doesn't break down. Here, it's just saying they didn't change their argument. It stayed the same. Indeed, and says they maintain that the ruling involved. 
an unreasonable application of the law. Application here does not refer to when you fill out some kind of document in order to get a job or be accepted at a university. In this particular case, an application just means how something is used. So they're saying you guys basically did not use the correct law. You did not apply the law properly. Right. You should have used the basic law and not the conservation acts. You guys have done a wrong thing to this guy. He should not go to jail. He should still be allowed. To hunt not only for traditional or ritual purposes, but also for self-consumption, so he can eat it and make sure his mother doesn't starve. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back. 这样子的消息传开来之后，有很多人呢来支援他，并且申请释宪。在这里讲到的是 to file a request for a constitutional interpretation， 也就是来申请释宪。后面的句子提到 ，they asserted that there is a conflict between the indigenous people's basic law and the wildlife conservation act. The law under which Dalum was sentenced to jail. 在这里，我们先来看一下 assert， 其实就是有断言、宣称、主张的意思。She asserted her innocence. 她宣称她是清白的。除了在 assert 后面加上名词之外，你还可以用 that 加子句。像在这里我们提到的呢，这些支援他的人，则是宣称呢，其实原住民。族的基本法跟这个野生动物保育法之间是有冲突的。Conflict 指的呢就是冲突的意思。我们在这里看到的野生动物保育法，英文称为 The Wildlife Conservation Act， 后面打了一个逗号。补充说明 ，the law under which which 指的就是这个动物的保育法呢。Dalum was sentenced to jail， 他就是因为这个法而被判刑入狱。这一段的倒数后面两句 ，However， in terms of the hierarchy of laws in Taiwan， the basic law has precedence over the Conservation Act。In terms of, 以什么观点来看 ？A hierarchy 指的就是等级制度。如果就台湾的法律位阶而言呢，基本法则是高于保育法。所以后面的结果 ，Therefore, the lawyers maintained that the ruling involved an unreasonable application of the law. 因此，律师们坚称这样子的裁决 ruling 是涉及不合理的法律适用的。OK， 以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。That is it for today, everybody. Thank you for joining us. But、uh, we're not done talking about this、uh, yet, because, of course, as you know, things that have to do with the law can take forever to resolve. So we will continue talking about this in our next program. Make sure you join us then. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.